The International English Language Testing System, IELTS, assesses the English language proficiency of people who want to study or work where English is used as the language of communication. It provides a fair, accurate, and relevant assessment of language skills based on well-established standards and covers the full range of proficiency levels from non-user to expert user. There are two versions of IELTS. Test takers can choose either IELTS Academic or IELTS General Training. Both versions of the test consist of four separate components assessing the four language skills, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. IELTS results are reported on a nine-band scale designed to be simple and easy to understand. This scale has remained consistent and has acquired currency around the world over the past three decades. IELTS is the world's most popular high-stakes English language test, with over 2 million tests taken in the last 12 months. Over 8,000 organizations in over 130 countries recognize and use IELTS for selection purposes. IELTS is offered at over 900 test locations worldwide. Test questions are developed by testing specialists in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America. Test questions are based on authentic materials sourced from all over the world. As I explained before, test takers can choose between IELTS academic and general training. Depending on their academic or professional aspirations or visa requirements, the distinction with IELTS academic lies in the subject matter and tasks of the reading and writing components. The listening and speaking components are the same. In listening, which takes 30 minutes, test takers listen to four recorded texts, monologues and conversations by a range of native speakers and write their answers to a series of questions. Reading takes 60 minutes in both general training and academic versions. The academic version includes three long texts which range from the descriptive and factual to the discursive and analytical. The texts are authentic and are taken from books, journals, magazines and newspapers all of which have been selected for a non-specialist audience. The general training version requires test takers to read extracts from newspapers, advertisements, instruction manuals, and books. There are materials test takers could encounter on a daily basis in an English-speaking country. Writing is 60 minutes too. The academic version includes two tasks. Topics are of general interest to, suitable for, and easily understood by test takers entering undergraduate or postgraduate studies or seeking professional registration. In academic task one, test takers are presented with a graph, table, chart, or diagram and are asked to describe, summarize, or explain the information in their own words. They may be asked to describe and explain data, describe the stages of a process, how something works, or describe an object or event. In task two, test takers are asked to write an essay in response to a point of view, argument, or problem. Responses to both tasks must be written in a formal style. The general training version also includes two tasks and is based on topics of general interest. In task one, test takers are presented with a situation and are asked to write a letter requesting information on explaining the situation. The letter may be personal, semi-formal, or formal in a style. In task two, Test takers are asked to write an essay in response to a point of view, argument, or problem. The essay can be a slightly more personal in a style than the academic writing task 2 essay. 
And finally, speaking takes between 11 to 14 minutes. The speaking component assesses the test taker's use of spoken English and takes between 11 and 14 minutes to complete. Every test is digitally recorded and consists of three parts. In part one, test takers answer general questions about themselves and a range of familiar topics, such as their home, family, work, studies, and interests. This part lasts between four and five minutes. In part two, test takers are given a booklet which asks them to talk about a particular topic. They have one minute to prepare before speaking for up to two minutes. The examiner may ask one or two questions on the same topic to finish this part of the test. And in part three, test takers are asked further questions which are connected to the topic in part two. These questions give the candidate an opportunity to discuss more abstract issues and ideas. This part lasts between four and five minutes. The format of the speaking test is common across both IELTS academic and IELTS general training. It is structured in such a way that does not allow test takers to rehearse set responses beforehand. Would you like to tell me about your hometown? Yes! Woo! Thanks, Internet. Porto, the country's second largest city, is in itself full of interest, but the district it has, though largely industrialized, offers the visitor plenty to see along the coast holidays resort like uh, the cosmopolitan beach of Espinho, splendid seafood or traditional fishing towns, quaint charm of Amaranth with 17th century mansions, famous for a kind of sweet egg pastries called bellies of angels. Thank you. Um, what is the most interesting building in your hometown? The church. The old church. It's big, and, and, and some kings have been there, and are there, and graves.